Today I'm just going to do a quick video explaining tape speed for Porter Studios. Depending on what model you've got, you're either going to have high speed or normal speed or a unit like this that does both. You see there's a switch. The only one that I'm aware of that has three speeds is the Tascam 424, the original one, the Mark 1, sort of greyish one. So normal speed means that, for instance, if I get mass produced tape, I've got cold cuts by Jerome and the Brothers Nylon. It sounds normal, but if I put it in high speed, it sounds like the chipmunks. That's normal speed. So that normal speed is one and seven eighths inches per second. Uh, I think that's, was it four now? I'll put it up on the screen. It's like about five centimeters per second. Like um, Yamaha's used metric rather than Imperial, but high speed is three and three quarter inches per second. In addition to that, you've got this pitch control in the front. So if I put the test tape back in, it's just playing a continuous tone. Then I can change it by plus or minus 10%. You can hear that in the musical terms, that's about a perfect fifth. So um, wise men say on the fool's rolling. I suppose you could get really... I, anyway, I'm kind of getting a bit carried away. You can see how this sort of carries into that Alexandra Cortini amulets thing where you can put four different tones in here and then manipulate it with the fader and probably do wah sounds on the EQ. That's not really the topic of this video. The difference between those switches is like an octave. i put that back up. This one isn't calibrated properly, but that should be an octave, like somewhere over the rainbow. I wonder if I can do that. Never mind. I'm sure there's, you can get like really virtuoso with this, like you're playing a theremin or something. And the purpose of this is, say you recorded your whole band at concert pitch, and then you wanted to use grandma's piano, but grandpa's piano has been sitting in the cold for a while and it doesn't tune to concert pitch. So it's, um, you know, A on it is A flat, according to tuning forks that a piano tuner would use. So what you can do is, let me do this with the brothers now and again. Right, that's concert pitch. So we'll turn it down a semitone, and now you're in tune with your piano. Record the piano over it, then turn the whole thing back up to normal, and it sounds like the piano was at concert pitch. So that's roughly what they're for, and some of the creative uses and practical uses for it. Let me just quickly explain how these uh, test tapes go. You can do it by ear, or you can attach some kind of frequency counter to one of the outputs. Like that should be 400 hertz at normal speed. So I can attach my frequency counter to it and change the trim pot until the sine wave that's coming out of the machine is pretty much bang on 400 hertz. You make that adjustment when this pitch control is right in the middle. There's an indent, you can, there's no way to demonstrate that visually, but you can feel it when you turn these, there's a little place where the pot just wants to sit in the middle. So you tune that to 400 hertz um, at the double speed. You can hear that's a bit flat actually, it should be 800 hertz there. This dual speed model will have two trim pots to do that. Right, um, that was unscripted and probably a little bit garbled, but I hope you got something out of it. Thanks for watching, hope to see you again soon.